Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, Warnings. On June 22nd, expert Bible prophecy teacher Amir Sarfati said, When many look at the world around us, they see chaos. I see something different. I see God warning the people of this world that His judgment is coming soon. The Bible shows us that this is the way He operates. Warning, then judgment. God sent Noah to warn the world that His judgment was coming. He sent angels to warn Sodom and Gomorrah that judgment was coming. He sent prophets to Israel to warn them judgment was coming. And He told the whole church of the signs that judgment is coming. On June 24th, expert Bible prophecy teacher Jonathan Bretner said, There will come a day when the signs of the end times become reality. Then it will be too late for many. God will surely judge the wickedness of our world. It's a matter of when, not if. It's far better to heed God's warnings now before they become reality. Among other things, these two expert Bible prophecy teachers want people to know that the prophetic signs that are being fulfilled today are warnings from God that His judgment is coming. And this is real news that should be immediately act upon. Understand that God did not tell people to watch for the warning signs to scare them. God told people to watch for the warning so we will know that He exists, that time is short, and that we need to make our salvation sure and encourage others to know and do likewise. He is a loving God that reveals what He intends to do before He does it. And there are many undeniable warnings that He is preparing to judge the world. Concerning world government and deceit, on June 28th, the WorldNet Daily staff reported that UN Secretary has called for the immediate and global destruction of the world's energy industry because he claimed fossil fuels are incompatible with human survival. Gutierrez said all of this action must be global. It must be immediate. It must start with the polluted heart of the climate crisis, the fossil fuel industry. Gutierrez added the world must phase out of fossil fuels in a just and equitable way, moving to leave oil, coal, and gas in the ground where they belong and massively boosting renewable investment in a just transition. Notice these words, global destruction, action must be global in the world. Here is a warning sign to watch for. At the end of the age, an evil government will rule the world. Revelation 13 verse 7. Here is a fact. Evil people at the UN, the WHO, the WEF, the IMF, Global corporations, the media, and others think they need to create a crisis to bring in a world government by 2030 or sooner. It is my belief that the Bible clearly teaches that the rapture will happen before that. The world uses energy to grow and transport food, heat and cool homes, run equipment in factories, cause vehicles to move, etc., the head of the UN calling for the global destruction of the world's energy industry should get our attention. The tribulation period will begin when the Antichrist confirms or strengthens an existing covenant with many for seven years, Daniel 9.27. In late September of 2015, delegates from 193 nations approved a UN document called Transforming Our World the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. This document, or covenant, that was approved by many delegates went into effect on January 1st, 2016, a little more than seven and a half years ago. In essence, it calls for the world to transition to a world government by 2030. In early June of this year, UN Secretary issued a progress report on the transition to world government, and his report says most of the world is behind schedule. It says the world is behind schedule and it has less than seven years to meet its goals by 2030. 
Gutierrez said delaying or giving up on the deadline to establish a world government by 2030 is not an option. The UN has scheduled a meeting called the SDG Summit for this September to discuss this problem. Gutierrez wants world leaders to commit to seven years of accelerated, sustained, and transformative action, both nationally and internationally, to deliver on the promise of the SDGs, the creation of a world government. Gutierrez wants world leaders to agree to speed up world government by making more and faster changes over the next seven years. His desired agreement to bring in world government in the next seven years is generating questions. Notice that the Antichrist will confirm, strengthen, or make stronger an existing covenant for seven years, and that will begin the tribulation period. People are emailing, asking if the UN vote for the nations to commit to world government in seven years could be the covenant that the Antichrist will confirm that starts the seven-year tribulation period. Well, we don't know, but it is a legitimate question. All the signs are converging. The tribulation period will begin with the confirmation of a seven-year covenant. And now the UN is calling for a seven-year covenant. Notice that Gutierrez believes the transition to a world government is behind schedule. And the Bible teaches that a restrainer is holding back the rise of the Antichrist. Many prophecy teachers believe the rapture will occur before the confirmation of the covenant. And that makes this very interesting. Something to ponder from the SDG summit in September to January 1st of 2030 is about six years and three months, not seven years. If Gutierrez thinks the transition is behind schedule, why isn't he calling for a six-year covenant instead of a seven-year covenant? Could it be because God said the Antichrist will confirm a seven-year covenant? How the covenant will be strengthened is not clear, but we know that there will be a brief rebellion by three of the ten kings. The Antichrist will subdue them, and he will ultimately wind up with total power. Concerning a falling away or a departing from the faith at the end of the age, on July 2nd, WND posted a Daily Caller News Foundation article that, that says that people for the ethical treatment of animals, PETA, has used AI, specifically ChatGPT, to rewrite the creation story in the Bible. They changed the word of God to promote their idea of animal rights. For example, following Adam and Eve's sin, the King James Bible says God made coats of skin and clothed them, Genesis 3.21. But Peta's altered story says he made them clothes of hemp and bamboo, never mind that the coats of skin might refer to the skin of a lamb that refers to the Lamb of God that would die for their sin. Peta's altered story adds that Abraham and Sarah adopted a dog named Herbie from a shelter. To make matters worse, a PETA official said the organization may rewrite more books of the Bible in the future. It is important for people to understand the Bible was given by God. God chose the words to say what he wants people to know. He warned everyone not to add to the scriptures or take away from them. Those who deliberately add, delete, or change just one word, even if it is to promote a good cause, could have the eternal judgment of God fall on them. This is the danger of church denominations, seminary professors, pastors, church members, and others changing what the Bible says. The changes will not end with just one or two issues. They will keep coming, and it is a slippery slope into the abyss with no way out. Concerning the return of the Jews to the Promised Land at the end of the age, the largest concentration of Jews in the world today is in Israel, but there is still a large concentration of Jews in Russia and Ukraine. In late June, two Jewish rabbis in Ukraine warned the Jews to leave Russia immediately. They said, Whichever way this situation, 
the war plays out, it's going to be very bad for you. Following the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, God used persecution to scatter the Jews and the gospel all over the world. He sometimes uses persecution today to cause the Jews to return to the promised land from all over the world. Concerning a global currency and the tracking and controlling of all buying and selling, in a speech at the World Economic Forum meeting on June 28th called Summer Davos, Cornell University professor said everyone on earth could soon face the disappearance of physical money. CBDCs could soon become a global reality. Bank computers can be programmed to allow customers to make good purchases or prevent customers from making bad purchases. CBDCs could make the world a better place, but there is a potential for the world to wind up in a pretty dark place. This is an admission at a WEF meeting that the world could soon have a global currency that could be tracked, controlled, and used to control everyone on earth. Everyone needs to heed the warnings or the signs that God gave and make their salvation sure. Finally, are you rapture ready?